Hey guys, ready for our recipe this week? Our recipe this week is uh, sent in by a client of ours, Linda. And this is a spinach berry protein shake. And we want to thank Linda for giving us the permission to use her recipe that she sent to us. And uh, this is going to go in our protein library. So, I've got our assistants, Rocky. Rocky, say hey to the camera. Hey! Kara, say hi to the camera. Hi! And Ania. Hi. Okay, so they're going to be helping us out tonight. So first ingredient, let's put our frozen stuff in there. Um, I'll give this for you to help me. Karis, do you want to hand me the, why don't you put the spinach in there? Pepper. Yep, put spinach in there, Rocky. We're putting frozen spinach, about a cup of frozen spinach is going in our mixture. All right, guys, and Nia's turn, start putting, put about, uh, recipe calls for about one to two cups of strawberries. I'm putting, uh, we'll just put in about, Put in 10 strawberries. Five. Uh, let's do three more. Okay, good job. We have about one to two cups there. We, of course, have to put in a scoop of protein powder. We're using Beverly International's Vanilla UMP. You could use whatever protein you wanted to use. We're going to put the recipe calls for a scoop. I'm going to throw about a scoop in there. A scoop. And this is branch chain amino acids. We're got the recipe calls for a uh, five grams. I'm gonna go ahead and put five grams of branch chain amino acids in. Uh, you could put in more or less if you wanted. And uh, uh, next, what we're gonna put in is almond milk. Um, unsweetened. Oh, the second babe, put that down, please. The unsweetened almond, unsweetened almond milk, the recipe calls for about one to two cups. And we're going to start off and put in um, a cup of almond milk. We're going to start to blend this up, and if we need to add in more, we'll add in more. And finally, what Linda's, what Linda's, hold on a second, guys. What Linda's recipe calls for is flaxseed oil, a tablespoon of flaxseed oil. What we're going to be using is actual flax seeds. Now you can use flaxseed oil or flax seeds. The reason why I'm using flax seeds is because we have a bunch. And also it just gives a more nuttier type of taste, a, a little bit different of a texture. And per serving of flax seeds, whole flax seeds, per serving it's six grams of fiber. So it's an extra way for you to get some extra fiber in your diet and to get some really good quality fat. But one serving of flax seeds or one serving of flax seed oil. So we're going to add some flax seeds. Now, babe, I'm going to do this. So we got our flax seeds in there. Now, what we have to do is. We need to add more, so we're just going to pop the top off, add a little bit more milk to it. We're going to probably add a total of, this is going to be a total of two cups of almond milk, which the rest, it's funny because that's exactly what the recipe calls for. Top back on. Now one little trick sometimes when your shake gets really thick, especially when using the Ninja, is I will pull out the mixer kind of like this, and I'll kind of mix it all together just to kind of get some of the stuff further down. I'm going to take this over to the sink. I'll be back in just a second because i got to get everything uh, taken care of. Jen, I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so the great thing we say about the Ninja is it's so thick you can eat it like ice cream. So we're just going to spoon this out into a great treat. I'm going to have our kids who are ultimate taste testers. You like it? Karis? Ania? 
good. You wouldn't think you wouldn't think spinach is great, but this is a spinach berry protein with either flaxseed oil or flax seeds. Kids, is it good? Yeah. yeah. You would eat it. Obviously, it's healthy. I hope you enjoy the recipe. Yeah.